Everybody, good morning to you. We're right here at the Kibbawak Lake in The terrible tragedy on the water is the bottom of the lake here the end of the
water to the surface of the life jackets are looking for. Those folks lifting the boat from the water you can Yeah, no, no, stay on it. No, 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 we're, we're good. We're going. It's not a for sure lie. They're just still taking the shot. Okay. Hey, this is Ezra at Branson. Good. Do you know if anybody's taking us live right now? No, 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 we're just moving along a little bit. Um, yeah, just give it, we're gonna, just a heads up, um, we put in News Connect that there will be a presser once they get the boat on the ramp. The,
just so you know, we're gonna we're, we gotta press it. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Can you grab my brown bag? Here? Yeah. Go there. Bring that microphone. Go, Bill. I'll come back after that. Okay. Yes, it's actually. Hey there. Can we just pull this out from under you? I'm sorry. Thank you. Can I lift this thing up? Ooh, it's all. In fact, now it's under your right leg. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, this is me. I'm Pull out this one out somebody, and we'll put them both down here. To... Yeah. No, 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 it'll it'll knock mine out, which is right. not going to work. Mark, is this working for you? Check, check, check. One, two, three, four, Basically. five, six. Sure. You good? Thank you. Out. Mike, thank you. Mark, how about you? <laughs> is everybody good for a mic check? Check, 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 check. Check, mic check, test, ABC, one, two, three. two, three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Mark, Testing, you good? one, two, yeah. three. Okay. Is that going to hold? I'm going to put one more on. Rich, you're not going to be able to, you can talk to me and I'll hear you, but I'm not going to be able to respond, all right? Okay. Okay, well, I, um... Good. Yeah, okay, but well, yeah. which the, the, the microphone's stuck. Okay. Yeah, that's, right that's a nice duct tape. It's proper duct tape. Yeah, thank you, sir. Tape. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Everybody hooked up and ready? Yeah. 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 Hey, Rich, we'll have a 30-second warning.
Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, we're going to have a brief introduction from Coast Guard Captain Scott Stormer, who will talk to you about the salvage operations that you saw today on Stretch Duck 7. After he gives his um, overview, he'll answer a few brief questions. So I'd like to introduce you to Captain Stormer. Good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, first, I would like to uh, Remark that uh, an operation like this doesn't occur without a great deal of planning and coordination. Uh, I'd specifically like to highlight uh, all of the agencies uh, that were here and uh, helped us in planning and coordination and execution for today's salvage operation, uh, specifically the Highway Patrol, uh, the Highway Patrol dive team. And I'd also like to uh, thank the city of Branson and the showboat Branson Bell for their support and their hospitality. Uh, the divers from the Missouri State Highway Patrol got to work early this morning. Uh, they attached a rig sling system to the duck, as you can see, uh, and as you have been able to observe this morning. Uh, once that was attached and secure, they raised the vessel uh, just slightly in an effort to determine its stability and adjust the rig if that was necessary. Once that was complete and the divers were safely out of the area, they raised the vessel to the surface. Upon uh, the vessel breaking the surface, they dewatered it. Uh, and from this position, uh, dewatered, it'll be moved to the boat ramp, and it'll be loaded on a flatbed trailer, taken from the boat ramp here and moved to a secure facility. At that point, uh, it'll be transferred, the custody of the duck will be transferred from the Missouri State Highway Patrol to the National Transportation Safety Board, and that will, uh, they will take possession of it for the completion of the interview, oh, I'm sorry, completion of the uh, investigation. Uh, as you can see, it's only just been raised, so I can speak to the, uh, the salvage that has occurred if you have any questions about that. Uh, I'm really not able to discuss uh, you know, any additional specifics uh, with regards to its condition. That is obviously a focus of the investigation and the condition of that uh, as, or the, the, uh, one of the focuses of the investigation certainly is to determine uh, the vessel's condition uh, throughout the casualty. So with that, again, I'd like to thank the Missouri State Highway Patrol and their dive team for their effort today, uh, the law enforcement agencies uh, that have been participating, uh, the Stone County Sheriff, Taney County Sheriff, the fire departments as well, uh, and again, the city of Branson and the showboat Branson well. I'm happy to take any questions. Captain, so, so when, it, when, when it was raised, there were, we could see that there was holes in the canopy, and there was also one of the sides, the, the plastic on the side was down. Did the divers change anything? Did they make have to change anything with the boat before they raised it? Uh, everything on the bottom was photographed by the divers uh, and they, they conducted a survey on the bottom to assess its condition on the bottom. Uh, so uh, the, we know that condition and that condition will be part of the investigation. I'm personally unaware if they had to move anything in order to attach the rig. Captain Justin Michaels from the Weather Channel, looking at the boat right now from a Coast Guard perspective, seeing all the life vests on that boat, knowing 17 people died just offshore here last Thursday, from a Coast Guard, Guard, Guard perspective, was protocol broken as far as being on, a, on the water and not having those lifeguard or those life jackets on at the time? So one of the focuses, as, as we have discussed before, one of the focus uh, of the investigation is to determine whether or not the operation uh, and, and this particular voyage was conducted in accordance with the operational guidance and the operational manual for, for Ride the Ducks, and it'll be uh, up to the investigation to help us ascertain that. Why did you decide to wait until today to raise this boat? Is there a particular reason? Uh, it was just an opportunity and the time necessary to amass the resources in order to do that. Do regulations require people on these boats to be wearing life jackets at all times? Uh, the regulations require that uh, the, 
the life-saving requirements and, and the regulations require that uh, personal flotation devices be on board for all passengers. Uh, and the uh, decision to, uh, to don those PFDs uh, is made uh, as an operational decision for the captain on board. As a part of the Coast Guard investigation, are you guys going to be looking at what the captain did at all, or is it just specifically the boat? No, uh, the investigation will include uh, all facets of the operation and everything that uh, led to and was part of the marine casualties. So, Captain, again, just to clarify, it, it is the captain's decision if somebody puts a PFD on, it is not a requirement? The requirement is that the PFDs be on board and available for all passengers. Hey, Captain, when the diver police for uh, the boat, uh, can you give us a sense of how it was positioned and situated? Uh, the, uh, the boat was on the bottom, resting on its axis. Uh, yes, the, uh, the the depth was approximately 80 feet of water. Yeah, and we were given an approximate approximation in terms of time, maybe around 2 p.m. Would you say that this process went pretty smooth? Did you have any hiccups in it? Uh, again, uh, an operation like this doesn't occur without a great deal of planning and coordination. We're thankful for that and all the agencies that have participated. Uh, and uh, I think it's that planning and coordination that led to such a smooth operation. Captain, yeah, you said the boat was photographed and it was down there. When were those photographs taken? Uh, that, that uh, they've been taken over the course of the preparation for today's effort. Were they taken when the, shortly after the was found, or were they taken today? Uh, I'll, we would, I would have to confirm that with the divers to know over the course of, of what time frame. I know you talked about the agencies, but do you know exactly how many people were involved in this effort? Uh, tens of people, certainly. Uh, we would have to, to look at a, uh, you know, to determine an additional number. Well, we'll time for divers? one more question Captain before Captain divers? has to get back. Captain is, you have, you have uh, actually, I don't know the exact number of the dive team. That's uh, some information that we can certainly get out. Just one, just one more. As far as the weather at the time, we know a strong line of storms was going through when this happened and likely caused this boat to have some trouble. As far as going out and taking a public crew, about 31 people out, then weather warnings have come in. There is plenty of lead time, we understand, from the National Weather Service. Taking a group of people out in a public boat like this, are any regulations broken in that, or is that, again, the discretion of the captain? So uh, again, the, uh, the the investigation. One of the goals and the objectives of the investigation is to evaluate if the operational guidance for Ride the Ducks and for this particular operation was followed. Uh, and uh, again, they will be piecing together those witness statements and the condition of the boat and all of that information that you have mentioned in an effort to do that. Just one Thank more. You is, all is, for there any, is there any updated Thank guidance you. from the Coast Guard for people out on the lake now? Well, you all can submit your questions to our email address. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for coming out. Um, if everybody would, gather up your belongings, and then we'll escort the group out to the parking lot together. Well, thank, thank you, you. again. Yep. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, no, yeah, leave it off for a second. Rich, I can go live for you if you want to go right here. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Um, so we we got everything done here. We still need to be working that pressure.